All right, welcome to seven lessons learned selling Squarespace templates. So I gave this uh, presentation at Squarespace's Circle Day a couple months ago, and uh, I don't know what they did with my recording, but um, I'm recording it again for y'all right here. So let's get into it. Um, here's my story in 90 seconds. Um, I started my career as a engineer, and um, I, I reached a point in my career early on um, where I knew I needed to do something else. Like I needed to be more creative. There's a, a kind of lifestyle that I wanted to live that I wasn't living. You know, it's a it's a classic classic tale of you know someone wanting to leave corporate America to do their own thing. Um, all the way up until I got arrested and pregnant. Um, and so at that point, my career was in jeopardy, and I had to figure out. Um, how I was going to make a living, you know, outside of what I had always known to be the most legitimate way to make a living, which was to to go to school and get a good job um, and a good career. And so uh, leaving that into the unknown, um, I started my digital media company called Vizier Media, and it's really just a one man company. Um, and uh, I quickly learned some things that allowed me to uh, eventually transition to creating squarespacethemes.com, which is today the largest directory of third-party Squarespace templates. So um, here's what we're going to take away from this presentation. One, why Squarespace templates? So if you're just considering this for the first time, um, we're going to get into, well, why, you know, like, why? <laughs> why should you bother thinking about this thing? Um, two, how does it work, right? So from a technical perspective, like, how does this thing actually work? Like, how do you go about it? There's a there's a couple of questions that will always come up that we're going to address. And then finally, um, if you've already launched or you're on the verge of launching and you're thinking about growth strategies, we're going to talk about growing your template shop. So, um this is me uh, shortly before I left my corporate career, and um, I don't I don't know why I put this slide in right here, uh, but um, <laughs> a year later, this is me with my with my son now out in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm out in the wild trying to trying to make a living, living, um, and you know, going through this experience. Uh, the initial part, I didn't have any processes, I didn't have any systems, I didn't have a, a real business. Um, and so it wasn't until uh, I decided to focus on Squarespace websites specifically, and then after doing that, getting familiar with a lot of the reoccurring problems, and and then deciding, okay, maybe I should kind of create something around this idea of Squarespace templates. And this is uh, 2015. At the time, there's maybe one or two people selling Squarespace templates, and it's still not really a thing that's on anyone's radar. Um, but, you know, lesson number one when it comes to templates is that it's in our DNA. Um, as human beings, templating is at the basis of how we are made and, and, and created. Um, and so, each of our the strands in our in our double helix is a template from which a new strand is made, and so uh, this is how we scale up as humans: templates, right, on on a very basic level. But it's also how we scale up as business owners. Um, if we have a task that we need our employees to now do, we've got to uh, templatize that task. We've got to create a mold or something that can be replicated by others. And so uh, you'll find, you know, templates everywhere, right? Like it's inside of us, it's outside of us. It's the first thing we do as Squarespace users when we sign up for the platform is we choose a template. And so to sell Squarespace templates to uh, people who are using the platform is, is a natural progression. Um, at least that's how I imagined it. And I think that's how it's come to be is that, um, you know, naturally, uh, you start off with a template and maybe you want a template that isn't already offered or you want something that you can't find. And that's that's where you come in. And so 
Templates save us time. They inspire us, give us uh, inspiration, um, a starting point, and a structure and form that we can work from without having to start from scratch. So the second lesson is as a designer, there is a do-it-yourself mindset shift that you have to make when going from uh, a web designer who's creating done-for-you projects, right, where everything is custom, 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 to, you know, to the spe- to the specifications of a client, to um, creating a template that isn't custom, something that someone else will customize. Um, so you're going from creating a, or offering a done-for-you service to offering a do-it-yourself product. Um, and so what's an easy way to get there? Well, Uh, templates as a byproduct of client work, right? So you're doing your client work and you realize, well, there's a way that we can simplify, you know, our design process so that when each client comes along, we're not starting from scratch. So the template, again, that you create for yourself within your business now becomes a potential template that you can sell outside of it, right? You create a wireframe, um, and maybe the client is like, uh, oh, I pass on that. Well, guess what? That wireframe is now a potential template that you can sell to a do it yourself audience, um, checklists, anything that you templatize within your business is a potential product. So not just, you know, typically we're, we're, we're talking about design when we're talking about, uh, Squarespace templates, but think about other parts of your business you know, that you can, uh, that you can templatize that you might have more expertise in. Um, clients might love your aesthetic, but you know, don't have your budget. Um, so that's how you kind of go from done for you to do it yourself. It's like, well, I can't do this for you because you don't have the budget, but, um, you can do it yourself with, with some of the templates that I have here in my shop. Um, This is also how you can turn your competition into customers, right? So other design, you're a designer, um, but there are other designers who might envy your style. They might love your aesthetic, but um, they're not going to, you know, pay for your, your, your one-on-one services. But if you offer templates where they can, you know, perhaps use it with their clients, well, now, uh, you know, you're allowing people to, 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 to pay to steal your aesthetic leveraging templates, right? Um, so again, you know, what else might people enjoy from you, um, but want to do themselves, right? They, they love it. They love how you do your thing, but like they want to do it for themselves in a similar way. And your templated method or, or, you know, process is how they get access to that. Now, when you make this transition, here's the third lesson is that you'll ultimately earn back your time, Um, there's obviously still a lot of work to be done supporting your products. Um, but I found, uh, this is me, uh, was it 2017, shortly after my daughter was born and my daughter was born with a chromosome, um, uh, a little part of her chromosome seven was missing, uh, deleted. And so, uh, her templating, you know, uh, you know, required a lot of specialists and and a lot of intervention. Um, And so the first few years of her life, there was a lot of uh, hospital visits and so on, where had I not been uh, selling digital products and had had I not um, been running an online business, I wouldn't be able to um, meet those demands and meet the requirements of, uh, you know, being able to be there and uh, go through that transition. Um, Here's a fourth lesson. You can monetize your portfolio with templates. Um, So just like the example I shared where, you know, you create something for a client and the client passes on it, right? Maybe you've got a bunch of uh, cool, cool projects in your portfolio where you can strip the, the, the actual, you know, content, um, obviously your client's logo and, and, and their branding and everything. Um, and then use that as a frame for your templates, right? Template what you've already done. 
Um, there's no need to, like, the whole point is not to start from scratch, right? So you're helping people not start from scratch, but you got to help yourself first. So, um, you know, templatize what you've already done. Um, I got a couple examples that I'm going to skip, but you could check them out in the uh, the links below. Um, but the email school is a uh, is a website of mine that is also serves as a template. Um, duplicate and transfer. This is the fifth lesson, and this is when we get into the uh, you know the how does this thing work. So there's two ways. There's the simple way. And the simple way requires some manual effort and so on. But I think when you're just getting started, um, the more hands-on, the better. Um, but there's a simple way, and then there's a, a, a more automated way, which we'll touch on in a second. So the simple way, uh, you create your template. You got your, your, your template. It's in trial mode or whatever, and you duplicate that. And when a customer buys it, you add them as a contributor and transfer ownership to the customer. That's the simple way. Um, now, one of the questions that comes up is like uh, demo sites, right? How do I keep this demo site alive without paying for it? Um, and how do I make sure that this trial doesn't go away? So I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, but now for the, the semi-automatic way, that's what I call it. Um, and so I've got a zap set up that I'll I'll give you access to also below in the description. Um, and you might need to kind of understand Zapier to make the best use of it. But basically what it does is um, you create an inventory of your, your templates for sale. So you duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. You've got your inventory. Um, and you take the um, the contributor invitation link and and you load that up into a spreadsheet and that spreadsheet becomes your inventory of templates um and then now when customers buy um the way this zap works is in their um their receipt email essentially they get this link automated so anyway um check out the zap i've got a couple more videos on it that go into more detail so you can you can make use of that um, now, people always ask, well, what do I include in the template? Well, obviously, there's a site that you're handing over, um, but then there's also tutorials and, uh, you know, instructional videos on how to make the best use of it. Uh, you might want to add graphic source files, additional CSS if you've included that, um, and essentially anything that went into the design, anything that will allow someone to recreate what you've created and and to make the best use of it um so that question on how do i keep the demo site alive well um if you're a circle member you get a six month trial um and if you're act actually here's something else you might not know if you're an enterprise customer you get unlimited trials um but you can always renew these six month trials it's not a big deal um, and then here's the, the URL. Oh, let's go back. Here's the URL slug that you need to make sure that your trial site is visible, even though uh, it's locked. So um, I got another video on this that you can check out. Uh, it's a 60 second video that breaks that down a little bit. So here's the sixth lesson. Um, leveraging marketplaces. So, you know, when you when you launch um, I think it makes sense to, um, you know, leverage places where there's already going to be buyers. So here's a few of those. Um, Creative Market uh, is one place where Squarespace templates are sold. Etsy is another. And if you search for Squarespace templates, you'll often find in the top uh, links to Creative Market and Etsy in the Google shopping section. So there's visibility there as well um, by getting on those marketplaces, as well as Ghost Marketplace, which is specific to Squarespace templates, and then squarespacethemes.com, which is my directory. So um, with that marketplace kind of thing, right, you, you can even find gaps in the market, right? 
Um, <clears throat> and that gives you an opportunity of like, okay, what can I create? What should I create? Well, maybe there's something that you're looking for that you can't find <clears throat> in any of the aforementioned places. Well, you know, that's a kind of clue for you. Now, here's the seventh lesson and uh, one of my favorite strat growth strategies, which is to leverage affiliates. Um, and so why affiliates? Well, uh, they're kind of doing the legwork for you, you know, um, affiliates add another layer of like, sure, you say your thing is good, but if someone else says it's good and they're, they're sharing their experience with it, um, it's a, it's a much stronger, you know, selling pop proposition. Um, you're also incentivizing your best customers to want to promote and share, um, your stuff. But anytime you, you know, you sell a template, obviously there's going to be a link back to your shop as well. So um, here's a couple affiliate tracking tools, and I'm pretty sure I got some more videos on this that I'll link to below in the description. Um, but these are some affiliate tracking tools that you can leverage to set up an affiliate program for your template shop. Um, and when you do hit me up, I'll be your first affiliate. Um, so Q and a, you can put everything you want to know below in the comments and, uh, I'll, I'll answer them when I can. Thank you for sticking around for my seven lessons, uh, learned selling Squarespace templates. Peace.